Welcome to the FinStreams tutorial about using sensors. Our first example is a standard robot program where you just have the robot avoiding obstacles. So first we need to add the Finch to the world. And then if you click on Finch and look at the Finch's Details tab, in the Functions tab, you can see all of the different sensor values that are accessible. So the first are the orientation values, which return true if the Finch is oriented that way, false otherwise. Second are obstacle values, that return the status of the Finch's obstacle sensors. Then there are uh, helper functions for the light sensor values and the temperature sensor values. And last is the Sensor Values tab, which gives you the raw sensor data for the accelerometer, the light sensors, and the temperature sensor. So in order to create uh, an effective program, we're going to use a while loop. And we just do while true for now, uh, and that's a placeholder value. and we're actually going to have the loop continue as long as the beak is not up. So we drag while Finch's beak is up, and then we use the logic um, command to make it while not Finch's beak is up. And then we're going to have an if statement in here such that if the Finch's path is blocked, we'll do one thing, we'll back up, otherwise we'll go forward. So we're pulling in if Finch's path is blocked, and then we'll go to the methods and we'll actually have the finch arc back. So we'll do finch set left motor to negative 100 and right motor to negative 40 and that'll make it sort of arc and back up. And we'll have it move, if uh, the path is not, not blocked, we'll have it move forward with speed 100. And we're also going to turn on some LEDs. We're going to set the LED red if the path is blocked and green if it's not. And then we're going to set the duration of these um, commands such that uh, the LEDs don't take any time. They just get set, so zero seconds. Uh, and then um, we'll use the default duration for backing up, so that's a one second duration. And we'll use zero seconds there and uh, a quarter of a second there. That way. Um, by setting the duration lower, you're having you're effectively having the sensors uh, get checked more frequently, which is good if you want your program to be responsive. And then finally, we'll uh, make the finch stop at the end of this loop, and we'll turn off its LEDs. And that's our program. Um, this program will go forward until there's an obstacle uh, in front of the finch, in which case it'll run backwards. Uh, the finch in the simulated world will not move at all. So uh, this is a case where you may want to add some visualization to the world as well. Uh, our second example is um, using the finch's sensors to actually control uh, an animation. So in this case, we're going to use the lunar lander. Uh, which is in the space subgallery. So we're going to add the lunar lander to our world. And we're going to make it a little, a little bit smaller and also lift it off of the uh, ground so that it starts raised off of the ground. So this could be the beginnings of um, like a lunar landing, lunar lander style game. And we're also going to add a finch. We need to do that in order to have access to the finch's sensors. So we're going to run this all in a while loop. And in this case, we'll just have it be while true. And then we'll use the lunar lander methods for movement. And we'll do lunar lander move down. And we're just using. Um, a half meter uh, just as a placeholder value. And we'll also have it move um, right, and we'll use just the one meter value for that.
Uh, and those are just placeholder values because we're actually going to pull in the x and y axis acceleration. Um, and then we will set the duration of these events to be a quarter of a second so that the sensors are checked more frequently so that when you're picking up the finch and moving things around um, it actually looks like it, it's happening uh, more fluidly. And we're going to do these things together such that the lunar lander is being moved in both directions. And, and then we hit play and now I'm moving around the finch and it's moving the lunar lander uh, left to right and up and down. And uh, obviously you could make this into a game by having the lunar lander the loop stop as soon as the lander is on the ground um, and maybe then doing some sort of victory, uh, you know, you won. Uh, this. And just some additional things I didn't have time for during the tutorial. The sensor ranges, the accelerometer uh, can detect acceleration from negative one and a half to one and a half g's along uh, all three of the finches. Finch's main uh, axes. The light sensors uh, have a range from 0 to 255, with 0 being dark and 255 bright. Temperature is negative 10 to 40 Celsius, uh, and the obstacle sensors uh, return true or false. You might need to use math to scale the sensors um, to appropriately move animations in a way that makes sense. And you can see how we use sensors in a number of our examples by just going to the Welcome screen and going to the Examples tab and opening up any of those examples. Thanks, and for more, visit FinchRobot.com and go to the FinchStream software.